Okay guys, Assalamualaikum Welcome back to the cara aku Okay guys, terima kasih sudah datang lagi ke dalam aku punya channel ni And sudilah untuk dengar aku punya suara Kita akan sambung balik Horizon Forbidden West Okay, sebelum aku nak teruskan Aku nak tanya kabar lu Apa kabar korang hari ni? Korang sihat ke tak? Kalau korang sihat, ucapkanlah Alhamdulillah Dan aku doakan semoga hidup korang selalu diberi Lindungan oleh Allah Okay guys, kita akan sambung kita sebelum ni kita bercakap dengan Gaya Lepas tu Gaya tidur sekejap Dia nak apa entah Refresh agaknya Dia suruh kita berjalan-jalan Explore the lab Tapi aku tak nak pergi jauh sangat Aku pusing-pusing tengok apa yang menarik Lepas tu aku naik balik lah Kita pusing This was intended as the main gathering space For control center operatives You could fit a good number of people in here Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to poke around. A Looks bit. like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. Okay, aku pusing-pusing ni sebenarnya What's ada tujuan. <laughs> Aku rasa lepas ni kita akan bercakap dengan si Gaya ni Banyak informasi dia akan bagi Aku akan pening kepala Tak ada apa-apa pun yang boleh aku looting Nah ni apa? Oh dia suruh pergi sini That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. Oh, okay. Yes, I guess it. Fabrication terminal. Okay, great job. No, close. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. Okay, dah complete. Tak mau, aku nak pergi bercakap dengan kau. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. Potong dia macam perkecapan. I'll leave you to it. Okay, kau jangan masuk val. Nanti kau akan pening kepala. Biar aku sorang je. Okay, guys. Story time. Hello, Aloy. Hi. So you're ready? Yes. The initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. Oh, okay. The two. Pilihan yang paling besar sekarang ni. The stranger. Kita pilih yang ni lo. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. And Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach, procurable. Oh, kita ada location dia. Napa ni kita akan collect yang benda tiga ni? Kita dah dapat satu. Oh, ni yang paling bermasalah. It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, 
We cannot. Procuring oh, a vessel can only be completed after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other supported functions first, then Hephaestus. Okay, sound. So. Nampak macam plan yang bagus. So, Ataupun itu memang kita kena buat pun. Okay, tiga ni. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Okay, soalan kedua. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a um a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. What? The calculations are complicated. But it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away and... and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. Aik, bertambah soalan. Ha. Okay, kita tanya pasal Fazenit sebab tadi cerita pasal Fazenit kan. Kita tanya pasal Zenit and... Oh, kita ada banyak baik. Ada lima baik. Okay, kita tanya ni dulu. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that. If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power until she could take control of Hephaestus. And then the whole terraforming system. Then yes. The system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere, to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction, instead of salvation. Well, 
this is not good. Big problem, guys. Okay. Uh. Hey, that money. You said Sirius is really far from Earth. Eighty-one trillion kilometers, or eight point six one one light years. Right. So, how would the descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. Okay, and the clone. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, the clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled with or without her knowledge and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives? Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders? Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. Mm hmm Okay. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target. And the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. Okay, uh... So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, Every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. Perhaps a way can be found to defeat their shielding. Yeah, I hope so. Or I'm not going to be winning fights against them anytime soon. Okay, itu kita perlukan juga tu. Rasa untuk kalahkan orang punya teknologi. How do you can track the signal? How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting, after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, 
I simply scan my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was Far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Okay, settle ni back and ada lagi dua. Biosphere question for uh, about subordinate function. Hmm, ada tiga. Okay, yang dulu. The three subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, the missing... The missing ni nak tanya ke? Rasa ni, uh, Arthur tak ada tanya lah yang... You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Okay. Uh, okay, lagi. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, Launched and merged with Minerva. I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8% of my intended processing capacity. The Festus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, the Festus would absorb me rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity, exceeding that of Hephaestus. Okay, how do we trip? You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, the Festus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. Ooh. So... Once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the far zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. 
Ok nampaknya dah tak ada Back Soalan seterusnya Ni dah tanya Biosphere What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense The terraforming system never stopped functioning The difference Since my predecessor's destruction Is that there has been no central governing intelligence To monitor its robotic agents And assign new tasks As a result Errors have accrued And day by day The biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But Bleed. these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. Ooh, how long will we have? How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors, the biosphere will cross a point of no return. In approximately four months. Oh, four months. And if I gather Ether, Demeter, yeah, yeah. Poseidon, so then... merge you with them, we will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. Okay, semua soalan aku dah tanya kan? Okay, let's get started lah, pergi. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. Oh. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus. But they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas. Las Vegas? A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay. So, three subordinate functions to go after. Ether, somewhere in Tanakh territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Oh, this one I can pick. Oh, I got level. Okay, if I got level, I'll go for Ether too. I think I'll head for Ether. Then I will assign Ether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. Oh, I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... 
Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh... I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Well? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Let's go! Okay, I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first, check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Are you sure? Yes, I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. Okay, kita sampai. Kita ada tiga misi penting. I need to head further west. To um, get more of Gaia's components, make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime, and Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Aaron. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. What's that? One to wear. One for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's sub-functions. And who knows what else. Okay, guys. Sekejap aku nak tengok time. Okay. Kita ada lagi mungkin 20 minit. 10 minit. I wonder how much snow is going to pile up. Okay, banyak main kuis pula yang keluar eh. Okay, broken sky. Kita dapatkan eater dulu kan. Eater paling dekat kan. Okay. Ya ni Poseidon Las Vegas. Okey, kita pergi Ether dulu ah. Okey, skill, skill aku dah tujuh mat. Okey, kita rasa kita. Ni a uh, lasting override, override passing boost. Kejap sekejap. Survivor warrior. I take that. Deal more damage. Aku nak powerkan aku punya ni dulu. 
are more expert craft more ammunition for the same amount of resources okay Okay. Ni apa? Valor impact gain valor when hit by enemies. Oh. Oh, sini tak boleh. Ah, okey. Okeylah, ambil lah apa saja yang ada. Inventory nothing, nothing, nothing resources. Okey, okey, okey. Quest, notebook Okay Okay, tujuan kita depan sana Let's go guys Aku baru level 15 tu Okay, kita quick save dulu you. Let me take a look at you, Eh, who are you? Berani kau cakap aku macam tu eh Okay, macam I could share them with you. Aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, you should know the rebels have been busy. They've set up outposts to the west. Some settled into a camp southwest of here. And I know the marshals can't deal with all of them, so I'd stay alert out there if I were you. Thanks for the warning. Okay. Nampaknya kita banyak berborak. Weapon. Shock Bolt Buster Outfit hmm. Tak mau. Tak ada outfit lain ke yang baru-baru sikit Come on lah Ni apa? Frostbite Frostbite Ah, uh, detail Bagus ke? Frostbite Warrior Bow uh, Dah ada ke? Oh dah ada lah saya dah ada lah Yang tebu Saya nak tengok sekejap Saya dah ada ke benda tu Entah, tak ada kot. Let's go lagi dia. Uh, turun bawah tu. Ooh. Who are you? Scan. Fire bristle bag. Oh. Okay, kita gaji dia dulu Lemah tak ada peti Perlu ke aku lawan? Rasa tak perlu Aku akan menjadi nak keluar dari sini Wah, panjang gila sliding Oh Out here is sick with blight too, but we'll be able to heal all of it once Gaia is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. Hold on to this for later. Tak ada tempat menyuruh ah. Okay, hati-hati. Oh, belakang aku ada Nanti Barang tempat lain Ok 
Oh Sangat bahaya Pandang tempat lain dulu Okay Oh no Damn it <tuk> Tak sempat lah Dia tak nak kerja aku Okay. It's not settlement. I have to watch my step. Okay, masuk ke kawasan tenak. Ambil tu sikit. One more step. Oh. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. Coming through? A Rohan, eh? Eh? What? My mind. Aku nak cari baju baru lah. Set quest nanti lah. Oh, kau dah apa? Hmm, cari baju, cari baju. Soon. I'm sure. Walk band upgrade weapon. What weapon? This upgrade. Let's go. Nope. Tak ada yang jual baju sini. Oh my, perjalanan aku masih jauh. Tapi dia suruh aku masuk dalam ni buat apa? Okay, ikut save di sini. Kita panggil kita punya binatang tunggangan. Let's go. Mana kau? Hai, don't mind me. Aku just lalu je. Heal sikit Oh, tol naik Macam mana kita nak naik? Aku, aku nampak jalan Sini kot Oi, apa tu? <laughs> Okay. Ni apa? Sana mana tol naik? Oh, banyak. Oh, tu sana tol naik ni. Sana aku naik atas tol naik tu. Tanda jaw 
Oh tu tanda jo kat sini tu. Aku tak boleh nak lawan tanda jo sekarang. Okay kita perlu ke tujuan kita lah. <laughs> okay tolak ni nanti aku fikir. Jangan nampak aku tak ada jaw Lalu Cepat lalu Wah wow, apa Oi banyak gila kurang kau Mereka lintas kau tengah jalan Memang kena langgar lah Okay. okay guys, aku rasa sampai sini saja video kali ni. Okay. okay. Dah habis cakap Eloy eh. Okay, aku nak buat hari. Okay, kita akhiri sampai sini video kali ni guys. Kalau korang suka video ni, korang boleh tekan butang like, share and subscribe guys. Kepada korang yang belum subscribe and yang dah subscribe, aku ucapkan terima kasih banyak-banyak guys. Sebab dah support aku. Kita jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum.